Namaste, my name is Nitin. Do you struggle to manage your emotions? Watch this video. Now I'm consciously using this word manage instead of control. People most of the times when they talk about emotion, the first thing they will do is and say is I want to control my emotions. Let's understand a little bit about how these emotions function. Okay, there's an emotional center in the brain and there's a logical center in the brain. When we experience very strong emotions, the emotional center activates and the logic shuts down. We cannot process things cognitively. And it is like a tide arising inside us with a strong emotional current. Now imagine when this is the strong current that's inside us, when you try to consciously control it, what's going to happen? What is going to happen is your great battle will start against the emotions. So controlling is not even an option. Neither there's an option to distract yourself and engage into external activity because it's going to give you a temporary relief. Once you shut down that activity, the emotion is again probably going to come back to you because you've just distracted yourself and done nothing to deal with those emotions. The third thing, suppressing emotions is also not going to be useful because you suppress them, they will come out in some other ways at unwanted places also. For example, I had this own personal experience where I went through a lot of allergic reactions on my body. And then nothing was diagnosed. I went to many, many doctors. Nothing came out. Finally, I was an Allegra 250 MG for two years. Then I said, my God, I have to get out of this. What do I have to do? So I went to a homeopathic doctor. They took my life history and you know what turned out? All my problems of allergy were emotional suppression for a long time of my life. And that's how I understood that while I felt suppressing the emotions, I did a good job by being a strong person, by not letting anyone know how I feel. And here I am facing allergy on anti-allergic tablet for two years. So, if we cannot control, if we cannot distract ourselves, if we cannot suppress our emotions, what is the other way to handle our emotions? The other way to look at emotions and handle them is bringing this moment-to-moment -moment awareness of unfolding of emotions. So the first thing, when you start experiencing emotions, pause, do not do anything that is an activity to distract yourself. After pausing, what do you do? Bring attention to the unfolding of emotions. Now I ask this question to a lot of people, where do you feel emotions? And people go, in the mind. And I ask, where is the mind? And they are like, okay, yeah, I don't feel it in the mind, but where do you feel it then? And a lot of people sometimes are not aware unless you bring it to their notice. And where you feel these emotions is within your body. Therefore, our description of emotional impact is, we say, oh, I was red in anger. I was trembling in fear. My body had tensed up in anxiety. We feel our emotion in our physical body. Therefore, when an emotion arises, bring attention to your physical body, what is happening. So for example, once I started practicing this, I realized when I start getting angry, the first thing I experience is, I experience a churning in my stomach. For you, it may be different. It may be tightening of your shoulders, change in your breathing pattern. Whatever it is, just bring attention to these sensations. Once you bring attention to these sensations, do not try to change them, control them, suppress them. But just observe what these sensations are transforming into. And you will realize after a point, they also fade out. Now you have not done anything to change that experience, but you have lived that experience. Another thing that you have to remember is emotions are not our identity. 
usually people describe themselves as you know I'm a very short tempered person now this person is stuck because he has attached his emotions to his identity and therefore unconsciously you are saying now oh, it's my default pattern I can't do anything about it no 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 emotions are changing moment to moment experiences they will come and they will go they will not remain inside us because they are fleeting experiences of course sometimes they will come with a lot of power with them because some impacts in our life can be really strong for example when i lost my father i remembered that particular day when i broke down very badly and here is what i have to say about emotions Usually there's a notion, especially for men, feeling emotions and expressing them, allowing ourselves to feel them completely is a sign of weakness. Of course not. It's a sign of being human. It's a human experience. So do not discard your emotions feeling that it's a sign of weakness. You have to accept and embrace them the way they are because we come as a package. Imagine if we had the choice, then we could put switches inside us, right? That I will have 24-7 happiness, but would you be really living a fulfilled life by being happy 24-7 or being in euphoria 24-7? No, we need subtle emotions also because they're useful for our human existence. They have important information in them. They have wisdom in them. So accept your emotional world and embrace them without criticizing, judging, commenting on them. Because the more you do this, the more you're going to suppress them. So emotions are not supposed to be diagnosed and dissected. They are supposed to be felt as a physical experience. That's how when you are able to feel these emotions and experience them unfolding, there's a possibility that you may also detach your identity from them because you will now clearly realize that they come and they go. So to conclude, step number one, do not try to control your emotions. Step number two, emotions, when they start arising, bring attention to the moment-to-moment -moment changing experience of emotions in your body. Step number three, emotions are very useful for us, so embrace them, we come as a package. Do not attach your identity to your emotions. And this is where we will start building emotional intelligence, which is very, very important for us to navigate through different challenges of life because we cannot choose what life throws at us. We can choose how to manage ourselves. Thank you very much for watching.